How's it going? Fit like a day, long time no see. Right, so I noticed past couple of times we've been doing the shed, I've never done a YouTube video slacking. I've uh, been doing it after work, so either my phone's been dying or I haven't been organised and it's probably already dead. So, I hadn't done the shed a day. We've done a quite a few bits, buttoned up a few things. The last couple of times I've been doing, like I said, and I've been videoing because uh, my phone's either been dead or needing charged. So, I hadn't bothered making a video. Um, got a couple of things buttoned up, uh, as in power steering's done fuel cell been turned around so there's no chance of any fuel starvation uh, which was having in the four litre um, so aye right, we're gonna go down and see what we can do get the car a clean up get a tidy up and uh, have to get a bucket and some water to get a wash because we don't have any running water down there so um, get a wash and uh, get it polished up looking good so uh, I'll give you an update and I'll see you down at the shed Ta-da! God. So here's our custom fucking uh, battery mount, like cowboy ratchet strap, like self tapped into chassis leg. And then strap <coughs> runs bent to the other side of the chassis leg. Banger boy instincts. Here we come, like, come on. So, aye, car's on the ground. Finally. I'm basically finished. We want to get a tidy, tidy up, get a wash, because this isn't good. Is it hard to run in, Chris? I think so. No. I don't think so. Like, I can't mind if we did a video last day or no. Maybe spin our room. Project from a project. She looks my mint. Well, I get a wash. Yeah, tidied up because she's been looking pretty sorry for herself the past week lately.
how to detail your drift car 101. Lee's wee fucking contact the last day. Obviously it's no fucking oil painting like but the amount of stew that was sitting on the heater for the last day. Nonsense like so. She looks a bit more respectable now. <clears throat> once the once the windows dry out, I need some glass cleaner because nothing worse than having a full window. No, so please I want to take it down the road and see if one hand bracks like. Hi. <laughs> Hi, we're pushing the back of the road. Nah, it's not cool. Should, Should be sound. First test drive, out the road. How are you feeling about it? Ah, it's good, like. As you can see by the Cheshire Cat smirk on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Not pretty was, well. uh, nervous to start with. Obviously, you're just. You're just kind of listening to things, marking sure I'm feeling right, sounding right, as much as you can. Um, obviously, first run down the road, a bit of shite you like. Um, just thinking of the worst, something's going to block a bit now, but you've kind of got to give it a bit of, um, what you call it? Welly. Welly, aye, yeah, that's exactly the word. Because if someone's going to block, it was going to block coming back up, so. But it felt really good. Um, but all the pushes we've done on the subframe and on, fairly, it's fairly made a difference to the car. Like, it just feels, Quality. it just feels squatted like I, it's, it feels good. Um, the steering is totally different for the steering I normally feel. 
I'm used to just a normal road car, so with this power steering on. But even with the one UZ, it's totally different. Yeah, it's totally different for the one UZ. Heavier, like yeah, it is heavier. You're feeling basically you're feeling the road, eh? So that's going to take a minute to get used to. Hopefully, we've got enough self steer with it as well. Yeah, self steer. But we wouldn't care until we take it to track. But we're gonna we're gonna take it in. Yeah, hey, quickly go to make sure there's nothing leaking, etc. Just do the usual checks on it since it's hit its first run. Yeah, tidy up the place. Tidy up as well. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So, she's looking good and she's driving well. Yeah. We had to do a bit of modification to the prop. I can't the last videos, but I thought there could be a bit of vibration. But we obviously, leveled it up and squared it up pretty good because you can hardly feel any vibration through that, really. No, neither really. Um, neither, neither up until the rest of the ride took it, but you took it farther up. So I was waving to Lee, you'll maybe see the camera vibrating, I was waving to tell him to gun it to see if there was going to be anything to brack, but he was concerned because there was a wee bit of clunking th through the, the gear changing, but... I think it's just because of the, the long throw it's now got. Yeah, we yeah, had to, we had to do a lot of adapting. Adapt the linkage on it because it was taxing on the, the donut. So, uh And throwing the linkage off. Hopefully, um we're hoping that it's just going to be sound and we'll... Uh, get a good skid out of it before someone breaks because we changed this to stop all the catastrophes at the track because the one UZ was just not having problems for us so well, a lot one good day the one UZ but it still wasn't running at its potential it wasn't running right now no so you're all as chuffed as what we are like on to the next stage of booking a drift day and burning up some of the tyres like tidy show just realised I didn't do an outro for this video. Come home, had some dinner, and uh, chill out. So, Caitlin, what do we say about the YouTube videos? Don't know. What do you want me to say about them? Like, comment, subscribe. Okay. And stay tuned because we'll be at a skid day near you soon. Okay. <laughs> um, <coughs> thanks for watching. Hope you're liking the progress as much as uh, we are. And uh, stay tuned for more content coming to you soon. Cheers.